This is a humpback whale, one of the world's largest animals. It can grow up to 18 meters long and weigh up to 40 tons. Recently, however, the humpback whale gained a new feature. A price tag. It is now worth $2 million. But why? Because big whales can help humanity in the fight against climate change. It's an ecosystem service that could be worth millions of dollars per whale. According to new analysis by economists, to ask the question, how much is a whale worth? It's an exceptional way of saving our climate. But how could whales be valued in dollars? And how can these marine mammals have an effect on our climate? Let's put this under the microscope. Whales combat carbon naturally. Big whales like filter feeding by lean, sperm whales helps to sequester carbon. They hold it in their bodies, stockpiling tons of carbon, a piece like giant swimming trees. We all know trees are effective carbon tanks. A mature tree absorbs up to 22 kilos of carbon dioxide each year. Next to these marine giants, there is no comparison. A single whale with an average lifespan of 60 years stores about 30 tons of carbon dioxide. That means one whale is equivalent to 1500 trees. When a whale dies, its corpus sinks to the bottom of the sea. The carbon stored in it is taken out of the atmospheric cycle for hundreds or even thousands of years. But whales do even more to fight climate change. They provide a special eco-service called the whale pump. In the depths of the ocean, whales feed on tiny marine organisms like plankton or krills. Then they return to the surface where they release huge fecal plumes, floating masses of waste rich in iron, phosphorus and nitrogen, exactly the substances plankton needs to grow and more plankton is just what the planet needs. Plankton captures an estimated 40% of all the CO2 produced worldwide and it contributes at least 50% of the oxygen in our atmosphere. It would take four Amazon rainforests to capture the equivalent amount of CO2. In recent years, scientists have discovered the plankton is blooming along the migratory routes of whales, traveling between their breeding and feeding grounds. Whales excrete nutrition into oceans all over the world iron into cold waters and nitrogen and phosphorus into warm seas. The more the whales there are, the more plankton there is and the more carbon can be absorbed. That's great.